Ashley, I gotta ask you something. Oh my gosh, not this again. Can we just please stop? What did one hat say to the other hat? Mike, I'm gonna have to tell you, I don't know. Why don't you stay here and I'll go on ahead. Welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm Mike Hall. And I'm Ashley Jones. Tonight, Edie will be sitting down with Dr. Marcy Hinton to discuss with her the opportunities in the international program and her role with PRSSA. Mike and Corey will also be back on screen to discuss everything going on with Murray State Sports. Also, for your entertainment, Ashley and I will be going head to head in a blind taste test. But first, it's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> Beginning on Thursday, the Robert E. Johnson Theater will be hosting the Pirates of Penzance. The show will run from Friday, November 21st to the 23rd and will start at 7.30. A final performance will be on the 24th and take place at 2.30. Next Monday, the Faculty Development Center at Polk Library will be hosting the Virtual Course Design Challenge Showcase. Participants from Murray State's faculty will be challenged to design a course plan with learning objectives. The showcase will be at 11.20. Looking for something to do after the show? Hurry down to the Curris Center Theater by 7 o'clock tonight to catch a free screening of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. After Peter Parker dies heroically saving the city, high schooler Miles, Miles Morales takes up the mantle and becomes the one and only Spider-Man, or so we thought. Many other spider people from various alternate realities are thrown into his world and they must all band together to defeat the Kingpin and save the multiverse. The film is rated PG and has a runtime of 1 hour and 57 minutes. Interested in a new fitness center but get tired of the same old things on campus? Mike is going to tell us about a local gym and all they have to offer. Mega Gym is a great place for students, adults, and anyone who is interested in bettering themselves through fitness. They have many different opportunities in which you can use. They always have a friendly, smiling staff who are willing to help you in any way that they can. If you are new to the gym, they provide a free orientation and tour so that you can be familiar and will answer any questions that you have. There is a large selection of fitness equipment, like machines and free weights, and there is a large variety of exercises and workouts that can be done within the gym. Along with the equipment, they also offer clean locker rooms a sauna, tanning beds, and even hydro massage machines. I work out at Mega Gym just because it's a great gym and they have great equipment. It's a great facility with anything you could ever need as far as dumbbells, uh, machine equipment, free weights, and cable weights. There's a kids facility, tons of training rooms, and a great staff to take care of you here, and it's a very clean gym. Along with the workout equipment itself, the atmosphere of the gym is always upbeat and positive. They have two separate training rooms with mirrors, one of which has a turf floor for agility and footwork. Mega Gym also employs several personal trainers who provide different fitness classes as well as aerobics which are free to members to attend. One-on-one -on -one training is also offered to those who need it. For parents, there is a regularly staffed kids club in which you can leave your children worry-free while you Mega Gym is more than just a gym, and besides their great staff and clean workout equipment, they also have Mega Fit Meals, which is a line of meal prep, or it could be a regular dinner if you would like it to be. Um, they also have Mega Fit Performance, which is BCAAs, and different other uh, workout supplements that you can use to better enhance your gym experience. They're more than just a gym, they're a brand. Mega Gym products are always available for purchase at the counter during staffed hours. With one price, Mega Gym offers four locations in Benton, Calvert, Murray, and Mayfield. The gym is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and offers great deals for students. 
Don't go anywhere. Corey and I will be up next for this week's sports segment. Stay tuned. Welcome back to MSU Tonight. Thanks for joining us for this week's sports segment. I'm Corey Sharber. And I'm Mike Hall. The race for football season came to a depressing end this past Saturday during the Battle of the Border, which saw Murray State defeated by the Austin Peay Governors 42-7. All of our dreams were crushed and my weekend was ruined. After falling short last Tuesday against the Tennessee Volunteers, the Racer men's basketball team demolished Brescia on Saturday by a score of 114-48. to Chico Carter Jr. led the team in scoring with 20 points, while Anthony Smith grabbed 14 rebounds and finished with 13 points with Ja Morant in attendance. Murray State plays Southern Illinois tonight at 7 here at the bank. The Racers volleyball team swept Moorhead State at Racer Arena on Saturday to finish out the regular season. For the Senior Day showcase from the team, Rachel Castillo racked up 15 kills and Courtney Rattle contributed 11 kills. Murray State finishes the regular season with 12 conference victories and they will be the third seed in the conference tournament next week. Despite coming off a victory on the road last week for the women's basketball team, the Racers were demolished by the number 8 Mississippi State Bulldogs. Murray State lost 124-43 to on the road. Alexis Burpo was the highest scorer for Murray State with just 8 points. They play Lipscomb tonight on the road at 6.30. Thanks for joining us for this week's sports... Sorry, thanks for joining us for this week's edition of the sports segment. Despite a depressing football recap, you can rewatch this segment on YouTube by looking up MSU tonight. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, Edie Greenberg will speak with Dr. Marcy Hinton about studying abroad. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm joined with Dr. Marcy Hinton to discuss PRSSA as well as study abroad opportunities for students. Hi, how are you? Hello. Would you mind introducing yourself a little bit? Um, yes, I'm Marcy Hinton and I'm a faculty member in journalism mass communication and teach public relations and take students abroad. So I understand that a lot of students might not be familiar with what public relations is. Would you mind expanding on what that is a little bit? Sure. It's um, the communication component of any organization or company, um, sort of relationship management and how um, a company connects to various stakeholders or audiences. Um, so you're an associate public relations professor, but also an advisor for PRSSA at Murray State. So what is PRSSA? Um, PRSSA stands for Public Relations Student Society of America, and it's a national organization. And um, Murray State had to apply in order to get a chapter on um, campus. So it's just an opportunity um, every other Monday night um, during the semester for students to have some professional development. Um, enhance their their network and sort of network um, with um, professionals in the area and we're a member of the Nashville um, chap professional chapter. How would a student become involved in PRSSA <clears throat> if they were interested? Um, well we there is a season of um, membership dues and that ends um, Friday but we can go online on at PRSSA.org um, and um, pay a $70 um, membership fee, um, but also just show up to um, meetings at Monday nights at 5 o'clock in Wilson Hall and um, we can help you with that. Cool. Um, so I understand you're involved with the study abroad program at Murray cool. State. Would you mind explaining a little bit more about the program? Um, sure. Uh, Murray State has a fantastic education abroad um, program. and Most colleges do, but um, the Murray State team um, sends more students abroad than just about anybody else in, um, in Kentucky if you um, consider the percentages um, and they go everywhere and so I, I serve as the study abroad um, ambassador for the journalism mass communication program but every department on campus has a study abroad ambassador um, and we can get you anywhere in the world you want to go um, and taking any class and in journalism um, there's an opportunity um, there's an opportunity every semester every winter program every summer program I understand that some of the opportunities this time around are travel writing in France mm -hmm. and uh, movie-induced tourism in London, is that correct? Um, yes, we're going to France this summer um, for two weeks, um, just after um, graduation, May 13th through the 27th, and we'll be doing, it's actually um, travel and food writing, um, so we'll be doing a blog, um, participating wow. in a website, um, and spend eight days in Dijon, um, learning a little French and traveling around there, and then to Paris. 
um, during the French Open. The French Open will be there while we're, while wow. we're there. And then next winter, the tw um, 2020, 2021, that mm -hmm. um, semester we'll be going to London and doing movie-induced tourism. So we'll um, go to movie sites and talk about tourism and its economic impact. Wow. Uh, how much does it cost to study abroad? Around how much? Um, well, it depends on the program. The France program, um, for a, um, again, for a couple of weeks, um, is um, about $3,300 to $3,700, um, which is really inexpensive. And I always say that you'll never be able to go more cheaply than when you go, or inexpensively right. than you, when you go in college, because mm -hmm. Um, if you go elsewhere, you're usually having to pay for family. Right. Um, you're having to, um, you're not figuring things on a group basis. And mm -hmm. so, um, and the Education Abroad Office here is really, really great about um, keeping that in mind about our students, about um, their financial situation. So we try really, really hard to um, keep it cost effective for students. Good. Um how would someone go about getting involved in the study abroad program? Um, well, you visit your study abroad ambassador, <laughs> and that would be me in journalism, mass communication, That's and I'm in Wilson 209. Okay. Um, but every department has a study abroad ambassador, but also Education Abroad has a fantastic website mm -hmm. um, at Murray State um, Study Abroad, or Education Abroad, um, and it's really simple. You can um, um, go search and apply and find, again, type in your search terms, where you want to go, what you want to do, what term you want to go, and they can find a program for you. And they're located in um, Blackburn, just moved um, down there, so they're happy to see people um, and get them signed up as well. Perfect. So I think that's about all. I wanted to ask you if you had any fun Thanksgiving plans. Um, I do. I'm on a um, committee for a um, juried art show in Paducah, mm -hmm. and so we're wow. going to be hanging art and then doing our opening exhibition and awarding some artists some money. That Just sounds fun. Yeah. All right. so. um, would you like to add anything else? Um, no, I just hope uh, every student has the opportunity to study abroad and should really take advantage of that. Right. Well, thank you so much. Um, coming up next, Ashley and Mike will take part in a blind taste test in celebration of Thanksgiving ne next week. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Welcome back to MSU Tonight. Right now, in order to get into the Thanksgiving spirit, Mike and Ashley are going to chow down or whatever the heck we feed them during our blind taste test. So, of course, you guys are going to be blindfolded for this entire segment. Uh -huh. Without further ado, let's just bring out the first dish. All righty. Remember, guys, no hands. So I'm going to direct you. Oh, uh, gosh. No. Oh, no. Okay. Get a sniff. Oh, I already smell it. <laughs> Can't find the plate. Oh, I think I know what yeah, it yeah, is. There you go. All right. <laughs> Man, this statement's better. I thought it was going to be. It's pizza. Yeah, you're it's right. Good. That is pizza. You just got all I'm over gonna get, the table. I'm going to uh, put that. I'm gonna put it back to the right. I'm gonna get another bite. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good that was really difficult without hands. Did y'all not eat today? That was really no. difficult without was, hands. That was actually it pretty. Is, if this is, if this is, your first is that meal. Little Caesars pizza? It's Papa, John. Papa John's. Okay. If this is your all I caught was day, all I caught was the crust. I didn't even get <laughs> any pizza. I smelled the pepperoni on the Alice pizza. <laughs> all right, now we're on plate number two. Oh Go gosh, oh, wait, is it already in front yeah, of us? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Where is it? You're on. You're on the right track. Oh uh, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, oh. Oh, man. Go a apple little. Sauce? Go a little more north. Is that applesauce? Nope. Nope. Jelly. jelly. Some kind yeah, of jelly. Kind of. Orange maybe. Mm, there you go. I actually got it. Boom! It's on my nose. That's. <laughs> oh, it's very cold. Yeah. I'm gonna take these plates. Yeah, oh take them uh, yeah. <laughs> take them away. I'm glad that you didn't put that on the pizza. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't get on my jacket. That that bad. Oh, All that right. wouldn't have been that bad. Plate number three. Oh, no. I already Go smell it. it. I can smell it too. Yeah. I'm going to vomit. I can't. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm not into this. Uh... I'm going <laughs> to. I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Um, is it jerky? Uh, big jerky? Mm hmm. Yep. I'm about it. <laughs> I can smell it. I'm, I'm glad y'all ate that because I don't want to smell it. Oh, <laughs> it's spicy. I'm about it. Yes, Are they tired right now? I guess so. Or she got one more. No. I got Indeed. one because yeah. I said strawberry. Yeah, you're one up right I'm now. I'm just getting fed. No, I'm, I'm good. having a great time. You're both winners right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it in front of us? No? Okay. <laughs> Next one. Chow down, kids. This is so inhumane. Uh, we really didn't think this through. <laughs> oh. 
And some kind what? of salsa? <laughs> what? Is that salsa? Is it jalapenos or something? Yeah, there you go. God, I hate jalapenos. You were close, but it's just straight up pepper, bro. <coughs> uh, is it, well, what kind of pepper? Jalapeno. Oh my gosh. Right. I love jalapenos. Oh my gosh, I can't. My I mouth's really on do. fire. Yeah, we're now we're just torturing you guys. Is it already um, in front of us? I have a smile on my face, so no, it's coming right now. <laughs> Try to say you're about to kiss the table. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Oh, man. You're just getting all messed up. What is that? <laughs> I'm being kind of, oh, it's on my chin now. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's sour. It oh. It awful. Oh, it's sour. It's very sour. It's very sour. I don't know what that is, Mike. You guys have any takers? I don't know what that is, <coughs> It's something hot. It's very hot, yeah. My mouth's on uh, fire. I'm going to say it's like... <laughs> is, it, is it really crushed up jalapenos? No. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's a hot sauce. I need I another. Know. It's just a hot sauce. We're looking I need another flavor. Buffalo sauce, but I think that is not buffalo sauce. Kidding that me. does not taste like buffalo. It does smell like it. I still have jalapeno like burning my nose hairs. That is not. So I don't know. That is not buffalo sauce. We're going to take these, these uh, toxic waste the worst, away from It's the worst buffalo sauce I've ever had if it's buffalo I sauce. I need some like ice now or milk. Oh, gosh. Here's another one, y'all. I am one with the table at this point. I don't know what that oh. is. Oh, it's so good. Ooh. <laughs> bananas. Is it bananas? Yeah. yeah. Boom. She's killing me. Now, Boom. what exactly is it? Banana is it baby puree. Food? Is it baby food? Please there tell you me. Go. Oh <laughs> That's actually really good. That's how actually you, really how good. How did you guess that right off the top of your head? <laughs> I guessed like, it too. I, I actually got that one before she did. No, is it still, nope, you can take it. Whatever. Take it away. It's fine. Is that all the food we got, guys? Is that all? Can, is that all the food we got? Are we done? It's not, there's more? Can we bring the pizza back? Okay. <laughs> yeah, bring the pizza back. Can my we, eye, my can God, we put buffalo you, sauce on the my pizza? My eyes are watering, bro, because <laughs> of the tightness of this head. Is this the last yeah. one? We've got one more after this. Okay. Two more after this, sorry. I'm being a great sport and really keeping my eyes closed just in case. No, so no, you no, guys no. should be. Is that a leaf? Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a leaf. You're on the right track. Is it a piece uh, of paper? No. Uh, that is on the right I think track. I, just the, I think I just licked the table. Um, That's the plate? Uh, go left, go up, uh, go up, go go uh, left, go left. You're going right. There uh, you go. There you go. It's just a leaf. I'm just gonna say paper, <laughs> like a leaf. Like. <laughs> I think y'all just picked that up off the ground. I, I there was it. Is it like a basil leaf or a bay leaf? No. I think it's just lettuce. a regular tree it's leaf. Lettuce. Guys, that was seaweed. Oh, oh that makes sense. Oh my sense. gosh. Oh my gosh. That I'm, makes sense now. I'm glad y'all are doing this because I don't want to do this. Okay. So like so far, I think I'm kicking. You are killing me. Yeah, you are killing, killing me. Quality of the sampling so far. Still having a great time. It's pretty. Yeah, it's still really fun. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. The pizza so far is top. It's just so crazy though. because like I can't <clears throat> touch like so I can't even touch the plate. You should have so, like, ended with the pizza. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> just, <laughs> is this the last one? One more. We got one more after this. It's right in front of you. Come on. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, that's why she keeps beating me. What is it? She just dives. She just dives straight into that. Okay, that's uh, that's really weird. It's some type of like, it's a vegetable. It's okay. broccoli. Is it cauliflower? There you go. You got it. Is it cauli oh, yeah, cauliflower? Yeah, you got it. See, yeah, there the you go. The albino broccoli, if you will. The albino broccoli. There take you go. these vitamins. Yeah, Get well, those nutritionists. I'm just glad I didn't away. take a bite out of that. I keep tripping over if like. I would have taken a bite out of <laughs> that ca cauliflower. Cord. I would have not had a good time. What's wrong with cauliflower? I just don't like veggies. Are just like a no. -go. That's so really you're not, sad. You're not healthy. That's a good time. No, I'm not healthy. <laughs> I love <laughs> cauliflower. I've, 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 I would promise you, I could cook cauliflower and you'd like it. I mean, it, like promise. probably like if you like season it. I just don't know if I can just eat straight oh, cauliflower. I heard this the plate is the last one. It's a warhead or a sour head. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I like words. I do too, but oh my. Uh. That's it. Okay, That's you guys right. can take your blindfolds off now. Okay, We've made sweet. you suffer enough. Whoo! Oh, Here's wow. our winner, wow. everyone. Well, I won. What's Woo! up? Awesome. That's it for this segment, everybody. Don't go anywhere. There's more to come on MSU tonight. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of MSU Tonight. Due to Thanksgiving break and Mike losing that last challenge we had, we will not be airing another episode My next fault. week. <laughs> but if you haven't gotten enough of us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our show on Tuesdays at 5 on MSU TV 11. Thanks for watching. <laughs>